Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Thank you for listening and please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Hmm. So, I'd like to get yourself nice and comfy. So, ideally, sit in a comfortable chair that supports your body or lie down on a bed or some kind of other flat surface um, which is comfortable. Such as a sofa or a settee or something like that. Now there's nothing really for you to do. If you've listened to these recordings before, you may find that actually just by hearing my very, very, very boring voice, your body, the muscles in your body just start to relax and your mind starts to slow down because that tension and stress doesn't like to listen to me talking you can it's almost like uh, in the movies you know when there's a big thing happening and um, a major event and everybody's getting into their cars and packing their caravans up and trying to escape the area that's what your stress and tension is doing now anxiety uh, any all the you know Incoming bombardment of thoughts that maybe you sometimes have. They're all getting into their cars and trying to drive away. Now, if the tension doesn't leave instantly, it's because they probably got a little bit of a traffic jam going on. But it will leave. You will feel more relaxed. Your mind will slow down. Because my voice is the antidote. My boring voice is the antidote to tension and stress. And it just won't, you know, tension, stress, anxiety, they will not, they cannot tolerate being in the same room as me. Or hearing me. So. That's just what happens. And that happens naturally. Automatically. Without having to do anything. We could. I could just talk about. I don't know baking a cake for the next 20 minutes and you'd feel more relaxed the, te the tension in your body would be moving very fast to get away because listening to my voice is painful for stress doesn't like it has to get away, has to leave your body and your mind slows down because those thoughts that were trying to get your attention <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like the like if you think of your thoughts sitting in a waiting room or sitting on the phone in a queue and my voice is the background music no one would stay in that queue they would hang the phone up rather than listen to me going on and if they were in a waiting room they would leave they would not be able to tolerate it and that's what the stress that's that's attention in that waiting room or those thoughts in the waiting room waiting for you to get your attention but they're listening to me as background music and they don't like it. And they leave. Be 
because they don't think it's worth the pain that it causes them. Listening to me droning on and on and on about seemingly nothing. And then your mind, because those thoughts that wanted your attention before have left and they start to leave and your mind automatically slows down, feels calmer as that waiting room starts to become emptier and emptier. And there's a certain feeling there It's a gentle release because it happens gradually. It's not like suddenly everyone leaves instantly. Now that can happen. And I guess sometimes it will happen. But you know often it just be a gradual, smooth transition from how you were feeling before to how you feel afterwards. A smooth, gentle journey. Without obstacles. And without actually having to do anything. Because quite often in, a, in our day-to-day -day world, we might be doing things to avoid the feelings of stress. It may, it may almost feel like we're running away from it, trying to hide from it because it's so, sometimes so uncomfortable. Well, playing my recording of me talking, the stress runs away from you. It's almost like you're getting your own back. Because you all know what it feels like to be stuck in a situation with someone that's really, truly, tediously boring. Now, it might not be because that person's boring, but what they're talking about is boring. And you want to do something else. You want to talk to someone else you want to be somewhere else maybe you're at a party and you see someone the other side of the room that you really want to talk to perhaps someone that you know perhaps someone that you'd like to get to know and then you've got someone like me talking about fuel prices going on and on and on <laughs> and on and on and no matter what you say to me I don't take the hint I just, just keep going on and on about whatever subject I've chosen to talk about and you don't want to be rude And I keep going on and on and on and on. So that's kind of the effect that I have on tension and stress, anxiety. They don't like to be near me. They don't like to be forced to listen to me. And they will leave because it's either that or stay and put up with the horrible feeling that they experience. Because let's face it, they're used to having control and they want to have control. 
but when they're listening to me they no longer have control because if they did have control over you you wouldn't be listening to me so that proves whenever you say to yourself or to other people that the stress controls you you've got no control over it or the tension you know stuff like that well remember when you play this recording or any recording with me on it you are taking control and the tension in your body and mind does not like that first of all that you're playing my voice my boring voice and secondly the fact that you're showing that you are in charge which of course you always have been and that tension and stress that was there before run <laughs> runs away screaming because they don't like it and they don't know when it's safe to come back either because it takes a while to recuperate for them to to recover from having listened to me and the more they listen to me the more it affects them and it's almost like when the stress in your body hears my voice it starts to weaken that stress not your body not your mind if anything your body and mind get stronger but the tension the stress anxiety weakens because the stronger you get the more in control that you are as you realize that you are the boss of your own actions including pressing the play button on this recording including getting up doing whatever you choose to do now the tension and stress and anxiety does not like that because it's used to being in control but there's something positive to remember that the stress anxiety tension inside you what there was there before is not trying to harm you it just doesn't know any other way to manage or to cope that is its coping mechanism by increasing the tension and the stress it doesn't know what else to do to help so it thinks it's helping and I know it's a weird concept the idea that something that seemingly has been causing you distress and discomfort is actually trying to help you and I guess trying and failing to give you more comfort but by doing it the wrong way not realizing that actually in the process it's causing you problems so having that break as those tensions and stresses driving away in their cars to get away from me and my voice while they're away some of those tensions and stresses start to think may start to assess the situation or reassess realizing that maybe what they're doing isn't what you need and what you need is more positivity what you need is more love inside you more calmness 
more of a sense of being able to deal with everything and anything that comes your way. Anything that life presents to you. Which means that those stresses and tensions and anxieties, all the those feelings that have been caused, maybe can change into something more positive, into something more useful and helpful. And as that idea permeates through your mind and body and spreads into those feelings that were there before, things can start to change. Things can start to seem different. Seem and feel a little bit different. As if something's changed, but you're not, maybe not quite sure what. You can't quite put your toe on it. What is it that's changed? Yet you feel different. You feel more optimistic. You feel more positive about the future. And you may not know why. But do you need to care why? And that feeling of confidence in your ability to feel more relaxed more of the time and that ability within you to sleep easier to be able to drift off to sleep whenever you need to or choose to opens up a maybe a different kind of lifestyle and a different kind of future to the one that you imagined you would be having before these changes started to develop within your mind starting off as an idea and then the idea as your mind and your thoughts wrap around it start to grow like a seed of a tree but then growing larger and larger so that idea and that sense of confidence in your own ability to relax easier starts to spread throughout your nervous system down your spine into all the different parts of your body sending that signal that you know what, it's okay to relax. It's okay to have a bit of faith in yourself, a bit of confidence in yourself. It's okay to believe that you're going to be okay and you will recover from whatever you've been through. And you can notice how that feels. Notice how that feels as you just allow those thoughts to grow. You allow yourself to experience the reality that things are starting to change for you. And will continue to change. Moving you in a new, positive, healthy direction. In the direction that you decide. Because you're in charge of that. You're the one driving your own vehicle. You're driving your life. You decide the destination. No one else. And there's something quite lovely about 
being able to just let go. Being able to just relax. To feel and enjoy feeling calm. And you can just continue to enjoy this feeling, to let these ideas flow through your mind and your body. Noticing the changes, not just now, but as the hours go by. Maybe you can't quite explain the changes in how you feel more positive towards yourself and your life, more positive towards your own ability to let go and to choose for yourself to spend more time feeling relaxed and calm. With that belief that sleeping is easy and no longer will those distractions from maybe your mind get in the way of you being able to relax and sleep deeply. So you can just allow yourself to Continue to relax and absorb all these ideas into your mind and body and allow the energy to move forward into your timeline, moving forward, clearing the way for the future with more comfort relaxation and happiness remember to be gentle with yourself remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy you deserve be happy because you are an amazing person and it's time to start acknowledging that it's time to get in touch with those parts of you that you really like the kindness the love the gentleness the peacefulness generosity, gratitude, all those things are there for you to enjoy. Lots of love. Bye.